getting almost done uh, putting the whole pistol back together. Just wanted to show you the part of. I'm sure uh, Airsoft has the Airsoft uh, AR-15 wrench, uh, but I have actually the real AR-15 ones, which will work also. So, like I said, the barrel nut will require an AR-15 wrench or something similar. So, that I show you. Don't have to put it too tight. I'll probably put a quarter, turns it not to be that tight. Okay. All right, tight enough. So, just wanted to show you guys. That's just probably just one of those quirky little things that if you worked on M4s long, long enough, uh, that's a little quirky there. So, I put it together. Things should fit. I mean, definitely uh, have a gun ready to go. Alright, so after putting in everything in the CCCP uh, pistol and all the upgrades I was explaining earlier, um, I had to change a couple of things. Uh, instead of using an M100 spring, I changed it to M105 spring because shooting at M100 was only giving me about 280 FPS. So I kind of wanted a little bit into the 300 mark, so I went up to M105. So used a little bit stronger spring, but definitely the rapport of using a 105 spring seems to be equivalent to the stock M110 spring that Ares use on these. So I guess, you know, um, oh yeah, my daughter is speaking, <laughs> but um, getting back to the spring, I guess if you're going to go silent with these guns, you really can't use an M100 spring unless you want to play at 280, which may not necessarily hurt your CQB games in really tight close quarters, but I think I kind of like the nice little round, round number of 300, so I'll stick with the M105. Um, originally I thought uh, I was be able to use the Evike Banff mags. However, I found out that um, only my KWA mags, K120, works on this gun. I can't even use the MOBA series Sportline mags on this thing. So I was a little disappointed to have to go down to my uh, KWA120 mags, mid caps, but to be honest, like I said, KWA, my KWA uh, K120s fit on all of my M4s and feeds. The only reason why I could think that I couldn't get the other mags to feed is I believe what's different on this particular Ares Amoba line is actually the, the inner barrel, which is not typical, which uh, Ares use. And I have a feeling that the outer barrel diameter or maybe the dimensions or something related to that inner barrel is causing some of my misfeeding issues so so even when I changed to stock and GP120 bucking I couldn't get my mags to, to feed so I have a feeling it's really an outer the outer barrel issue but if you guys if you guys uh, really want to explore that area that's fine um, up to you guys but I'll stick with the K120 so Put into Aries, uh, I mean, sorry, put into SA, SHS uh, air nozzle. So everything seems to work with a M105 spring uh, air nozzle. GMP bucking makes it uh, pretty good, accurate. Um, you could see, uh, I'll post up the video shots of me shooting 75 feet with the gun. It's pretty accurate with the fixed sights. And the only big major upgrade was probably changing the motor to Alonix A2. And like I stated, um, with all my mods, I expected it to uh, shoot 23 RPS, and it does shoot 23 RPS. So definitely it's about a 300 FPS gun that shoots 23 rounds per second, which is more than enough for tight CQB environments, which I was aiming for. So if you have any comments, you can post it down below, and I'll try to answer them. But there you go on my... Uh, 
take on making the most efficient and cool looking, uh, well, most efficient running a CCP pistol for the Ares and Mobile line.